At the Brickling store after Brick Road Grand Rapids wasn't the best uh, time for a vendor to be a vendor there that's for sure but we will move on gotta get my sign hung back up we have over 30 orders to pull at this point I'll have to get caught up so what is that there's a drawer missing there 2106 anyone see it anyone see 2106 <laughs> Huh. Anyway, it probably got put somewhere that it shouldn't be. Yeah. Oh, she wants to watch Bob the Builder. Anyway, so it's like uh, Monday night. I'm just going to pull a few orders. It is Tuesday morning, 5.47 a.m. I just got back to Brooklink. Um, so I got up to the 13 orders done yesterday on Monday that I wasn't working Monday. But I did 13 orders. Um, and so, so now we're in 14. Yeah, this one's 76 lot, seven, yeah, 76 lots, 500 items. And then uh, there's the 56 lotter, 111 lots, or 271. That's one of those subscription box people that to keep buying minifig parts for their subscription box. Which, keep it up, I'll keep on uploading them. <laughs> so anyway, this, one, this one has a message, I'm back, haha, <laughs> I just can't quit Bricklink. Funny seeing stuff in my cart you showed in the re most recent video. Yeah, because I, I mean, I upload so much, and then um, it sells, you know, some of it's like stuff that doesn't last long. Anywho, seems I try to moderate the addiction with multiple smaller orders. LOL. So, yeah, cool. And this is a second order I saw they, ju they placed, so I went ahead and packed that up last night because it was smaller than the 76 lots, cause they, and they did ask to combine shipping, so I'll do that. Um, this order that I'm pulling now, I got, got free shipping, but the newest one did not, so I'll refund the other shipping. And uh, it'll be right, so appreciate it. Keep on, keep watching, keep on uh, keeping me busy, guys. I need stuff to do. Well, I mean, I need, I need to make money to hit some goals. <laughs> That's what it is. Brick Road Grand Rapids didn't really set us back, but it didn't help us at all we kind of stayed <laughs> if i would have stayed home i would have just been fine I mean, have, but you know i did i did keep the store open well, actually i had it closed for I've gone for three days and had it closed for probably half of that time with the with the code you could open the store and buy so it wasn't a total oh that was terrible i shouldn't have closed it one two three four seven eight so thank you so much we'll keep on going Got some work to do. Okay, a blue one? That's an expensive one. The Crown King in here. That's a great piece. rubber bands I got one new one to keep them separated Times 60 this guy's cool ultra agents That's 
some of these I got out of those new bags, the orphan bags we just opened. And uh, this has a message. So thank you for calling out my order on your vlog. Thanks for being the best on Bricklink. You're welcome. Uh, I'm not the best, but I'm, I do try my best. I want my, my want list for your store is empty. Sad face, wink. But I decided to create a want list or wish list from your store. I will be back. Thanks for being the best as always. Yeah, want lists, um, they are always evolving. So in a couple weeks, you check it again, you might have a lot on there again for my store. Um, it just happens, I mean, it just, at least for me when I have wanted this. So thanks for coming back. There it is. Appreciate it. Call this the big one. It's a 111 lots. It was a 1,089 items. It was $270 total. So yeah, they just this is that subscription. Let's buy all the cheapest minifigures, cheapest legs, cheapest torsos I have in stock, basically. <laughs> they do some accessories. They also bought a lot of so, a few new parts. A lot of minifigures, city minifigures. I was asked. Do I do I price them like a just a set amount of minifigures like each city one like a dollar fifty or something? No, I just I do the, the averages. So this is where they fall and they eventually sell. Twenty seven has uh, has a message here. This is actually going to the UK. I've yet to read the message. I just saw it was there, and I remember conversation having a conversation while I was in uh, Grand Rapids because I had to send an invoice and. Very nice messages. So, uh, let's see. It says, "Sup, Pop. Hope you're doing all well. I'm still watching your every vlog, and I'm just as impressed as ever, and a bit jealous as well as to, as to be honest." Haha. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get it. I, I can't watch other um, YouTube people getting big hauls and great deals. I just the jealousy is thing is is, is real. Uh, I hope my store gets even close as big to yours one day. I'd be a happy man then. For now, I really need the arms of the scuba diver for a custom character. Other parts will come in handy as well, so thanks for having it all. Very welcome. Thank you for coming to the store, watching the videos, just being a part of all of everything. I don't remember the number. All three of these, okay. And uh, keeping, me, keeping me moving. Yeah, I mean, every order is great, so. Three, five, four, nine. There we go. Four, five, oh, six is two. Five, 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 six, and N eighty one. I think five, 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 six is here. N eighty one is back here. Sit down here, yep. Last item in that drawer. Interesting piece combination there. And then two used parts, five, five, four, five, five, eight. There it is, two, and this is the, the diver that has for the custom arms. One of the blue and yellow, those are pretty sweet arms for sure. So thank you so much for the order. And uh, it will be going across the pond, as I say. So appreciate it so much. Keep watching. Good luck with your star. 11.30, we are still on Eastern Standard Time. It's 10.30. And what what just happened? Um, can't find my stuff. Okay, we just re re uh, loaded the program after all those orders were shipped. We have eight more to do. 443 items and 78 lots, 203 dollars. So, not going to count this towards the gold tomorrow. I only believe maybe um, this one or these 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 final two are the only ones that came in since I would have ran the program last. So. There's six lots there, 300 items, $53, that's good. So yeah, I'm gonna get this done. Do I have all the orders packed? We sold something on eBay too. 
Dun, dun, dun. So this is completely in the profit zone. We had seven total sets from the Santa Fe set. We've already sold four, and I had three left. So this, we were just, you just make it to the profit zone. The last one I sold. So this is all profit, and then we have um, one more train. Yeah, one more. Uh, one more of those, but it ha it's in the box. That's that's on Bricklink, and this is a sealed, a sealed one. It's not even open. Set one zero zero two two, which is going about to go five percent more off. So that's gonna sell soon, because that is amazing in the box. That one I'm sure it's gonna go another five percent off. Set one zero zero two zero. So one zero zero two zero one zero zero two two. The last two. Those are gonna help help uh, pay off the house for sure. So which we are not really on target because Grand Rapids was so bad, but we were, I'll make it work. Like I said, I'll, I'll make sure it happens. It is on the top there, all the rest of the Brooklyn quarters. So I didn't have to ship the train today, but I'm going to the post office anyway. And it was something I had to do anyway. So shipping is a priority. So what we're gonna do now at, uh, well, I gotta change this, 11.43 a.m. On Tuesday, September 17th, as we are Going down somewhere right here. We are at 10% off currently. We're going to go to 15. So 15% off our entire store. And I, 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 I created like a roadmap of what sale when sales will be going on. It's not necessarily this exact date, but at some point in September, 15%. Some point in October, 20%. If I feel like October starts off real slow. I might have to go to 20% sooner than I have been lately because I did the August. Um, well, I just kept it at 10%. Actually, I went to 10% sometime in July, actually. I think maybe not. Maybe it's a little after that. Anyway, we did it. The sales are bigger. I'm just going to leave I leave my splash page up for like a day or two for everyone that placed orders in case they're questioning, why is my order now getting shipped when I placed it last Friday? Because... I didn't actually get last Thursday orders. I didn't even ship till just now, so till on a Tuesday. So, and it was it was noted here and on my closed screen of my store. I had it closed for a couple of those days I was gone at the Brook World. So, anyway, now what am I gonna do? Um, wait, hope a lot of orders come in. <laughs> no, I'm gonna. Uh, here it is. All these uh, stickered pieces from the office that I did while we were in Grand Rapids. I could have just had fun and walked around and talked to people, but instead I did this for like three hours on Sunday. <laughs> Which I'm glad I did, because it, it was very time consuming. I was, you know, I was distracted a lot. I'd do like two or three, then I'd talk to someone and people come, you know, it was not like a, nobody was at our booth. It just was, I had my son helping so he could take care of little things I needed, but why are these? Oh yeah, I had a couple extra pieces. For some reason, I had extra of those. I can list those up. Um, this one, I remember that I didn't want to get the part because the sticker wasn't, the, the part was like 80 cents, 70 to 80 cents itself. So that's kind of why I didn't get that one, but I don't know what happened with these two by two reddish browns. I'll get those for sure. Uh, I had some, I just didn't get enough. So I had that piece of it, there's another one. So I had half of what I needed. Yeah, I had those two, I didn't count. Civil or oh, that's just Michael's hat. Those are, those are very similar, but they're not the same. So yeah, I'm gonna get this all taken care of this job. I'm gonna check it off the list. I'll probably just cut these two stickers out and put them somewhere in a drawer or something. And if I ever, I, they're on my wanted list, the parts I need. When I get them, I'll know what to do with them. So, and call this job basically done. 11.54, we have the file made. It was pretty fast and easy. I'd stickered 324 parts, 32 lots. So, I mean, all I did is put plug in the set number into the brick store um, search, and it brings them all right up because all stickers used to have the set number at the end of the description of it. So, it's pretty easy to pull them right up and then just one by one lay, lay, lay them out here. I gotta get, I know I don't have any of these in my store, so I gotta find spots for each one. So, I'm gonna pull some drawers and we'll get these put for sale. I guess what's the first indication of price? I mean, some of these are, I'm definitely going to be adjusting the prices. Some of them, the 14 have never actually sold, right? So this is 156 on what has sold. That's very, very good. Um, 
I've already listed a number of them, and I've already sold some of them, which, so that's, that's a good sign. So, get this job done. So many like new lots lately uh, that I'm just, not that I'm running out of space in some of these backer drawers, but I know I'm gonna be pushing my limits here soon. <laughs> uh, so when I would, I just I'm taking a few minutes and actually just going through here and pulling drawers that are not turned backward, but I'm checking them out to see if there's actually room in them. Like, like I can easily make space in that one with the divider, which I probably can't do on camera. So I'm just trying to trying to save some time for later on. And some of these are questionable. That one I'll leave alone because it has multiple pieces in it. Like this one, obviously, can get a divider and be good. So just need a couple more. Or if like like this, I have heads and then a torso. Why not just move one torso and the heads? There's no way I'm gonna mess that one up. If it's if I sell that torso or the head, I'm not gonna grab the torso if the head sold or the vice versa the head if the torso sold because I would just be not paying attention or something. That one has room. So we're good. I'm gonna fill these up. All these parts are saved to having to just take the drawers that are already ready to go. We know that these have room, but we'll just let it be for when I actually need I'm just needing the needing this for tomorrow Wednesday is when I have help coming and I need we need to move faster than normal so I have to capitalize on the time when I have people here working with me that I'm paying uh, my son and his friend and uh, just got to capitalize on that time so it's kind of like I love it on Wednesdays I do it on the Wednesday because Mondays are shipping and then cleaning up not too much more ha usually happens on Mondays, but today is good. I have solid four hours of work ahead of me to do um, stuff like this. Uh, I pulled this over from over there. I just set it up because this is the audit we did last Wednesday because I actually had um, them audit some of the drawers. So we did we did these four rows, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So we did, I printed out enough to do the, those two as well, but didn't know how fast it would go. So out of those four rows, we pulled all of this. So I'm gonna make a file next and see how much money that made us back. Um, I can't believe this. This was in there in a drawer, in a big drawer, and it wasn't even for sale. And I now I, I absolutely remember losing a bunch of these one time. This was the first one that they found. I think I was on the previous video, but I absolutely remember losing that one for a while. So all the other stuff, who knows? <laughs> who knows? Did I, I put some of it for sale already? There was a couple of minifigures, like a Voldemort, that I was like, I'm just gonna get these for sale right away from the Harry Potter series one. Uh, anyway, so gonna get this put away and then move on to that. All right, we have 89 lots we just added from that audit, 1,365 items. Seems like a lot of lots. Um, I mean, I guess there's just a couple like single minifig parts here. Kind of, it kind of brought that number up pretty quick. Some other, yeah, there's a definite 89 drawers, but I, for the single one or twos, I just kind of put a bunch in there, so. It's easy to throw it away, it's fine. So what is it worth? I have no idea. Last six months sales, so $211. So one was skipped. Oh, this new torso is seven bucks, people are asking. Do five ninety five on my end, so. Um, yeah, I, I think it was like three hours of paid work, like $30, $34 uh, labor to get to that point. So, and I, this didn't take me that long. It's 1.06 p.m. now. Um, I'm gonna take, I just I push through, I gotta get lunch now before I put it away. Go do that, come back down, put it away, and just figure out what to do. I don't know. Um, I guess I can just keep on uploading some stuff here. Think about this here. Um, yeah, this is all the CMFs minifigs that I'm gonna get to. I guess I could maybe do some of those. So I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Things about this audit situation. Um, I need to make sure that these parts were not just incorrectly placed in the wrong drawer and they're still for sale in my store potentially so like this one i just checked or i guess i can just use my store uh it was in drawer 23 there was four there should be four i believe that were in there um i don't even see any 
any. <laughs> um, I guess we just we gotta. Here we go. Says 15% four. So there's four in there. So basically, what I'm saying is, it's possible that these are still in my inventory, just they're in the wrong drawer. But this one isn't. <clears throat> I already checked with the huge amount of these. Uh, these are one by two bricks. With, says on one side. They, they were definitely lost. I had to add an additional 400. But also, when it comes to auditing these, if I had used a new, mixed in all this, I would not know whether I could relist it as used or new. In some situations, obviously, you could you could tell, but for the most part, like minifigure parts, I don't know. You could you can't really assume they're new if you're not sure. So that's a good uh, reason why. To be honest, I never thought to mix new and used cabinets, parts in, in the same cabinet. I only saw it because I saw there's doing it, but because um, I have my use my used parts start here and go that way, and then the new starts there, and then it just wraps around all over the place. But because my goal is to do new parts more or less anyway. Um, so this is three nine six nine. Uh, so it's, it's unless I'm checking every piece. I'm not going to know if this is uh, correct or not, but most likely, if they're small pieces like this, they were just in the wrong drawer, or they just somehow got, yes, at some part out, they got lost. So I'm assuming that those are just an addition to what I already have. Um, well, these are, oh, this one's one I can really audit. These are actually like two bucks each. They're not six dollars, they're two dollars and eighty cents each. They're from uh, Prince Puppycorn ears, so. 1570 it says uh, there's four in there we're adding three like this would have been a section that was edited audited so I am gonna check that real quick um, when I go back to my store 1570 um, I gotta I gotta do <laughs> remark remarks there we go there was only four that that was in there. I just that I just added to those four. And now we have seven, so those were lost in there. So that's good. We don't have to, don't have to worry about it. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. If in the end, if I have over quantity things, then I'm, I'm double adding parts, double adding parts that are that were deleted before. It's not a big deal. You just got a refund. I don't like that, but you can do a thorough audit. It's just not something I have time for right now. But um, yeah. This is a good. We're doing good. Situation. Uh, it said I had some in 1820. I pulled 1820, and there's nothing in it at all. So I'm gonna just check my store real quick and see how many should be in there. Maybe these four are just sitting there, and I don't know how they got removed. But yeah, they were supposed to be in there. They got removed out of there for some reason or another. So we'll just put them back and delete that entry. I just grabbed two little bins I had. Two of these with these parts, they're just extra pieces from that uh, $200 minifig haul I got at Brickworld. There are all the accessories and stuff in there, so and there are some pieces to it, like a mini build. So, just gonna get those taken care of. It's got another 92 um, lots, 187 items in this little setup here. So, I was I did the parts there, I moved my computer here, and I just reversed the uh, order that I did them in and the first part wait I, gotta, I already I guess I already reversed it <laughs> re-reverse it the first but last part I just uh, scanned in is here and I just worked my way through and then I already have my son's doing that uh, that's that's piling up quick so still, still have three rows of drawers so I'll be doing that tomorrow more this, after shipping orders is adding more parts there so it's just a constant get it uploaded get it uploaded get it for sale what is this worth? I don't know. These are like so these are all extra parts from the two hundred dollar purchase of minifigs that I did. So I'm guessing it's not more than thirty bucks, but I just I guess I don't really know. Thirty six dollars. So and there's like a cat dollar fifty. I noticed this was like a dollar fifty. The green arrows arrow one arrow. So there's a couple pieces in here. That, there's a bunny. Some quantity of things, but. I guess let's I guess look it up this way price go down here oh I have a inquisitor hilt yeah those are the top three right there and one of those this just all adds up when you get 187 items so time to put them away all 
I were just ending our day pulling a couple orders. 92 and 99. I don't remember what piece this was. Was it a 92? I know the other one was a 99. This mess. Uh, uh, this order had a message on it. Just grab the last four pieces before I lose my train of order pulling. Not a train of thought. Sometimes you switch out of your train of order pulling into a train of thought while you're pulling order, and you don't do it right. But I, I'm pretty conscious of that nowadays. That it, it will happen. Oh, I try to slow down when that is going on. So. It says, I've been watching your videos for a long time, but this is my first time buying. Thanks for all the work you do. You're welcome. Thank you for coming coming through and ordering. These are the, the used pieces there. Awesome, awesome order. They took advantage, I believe. Oh, they got, no, they just, it was $40. So about well, $35 worth of parts and then the shipping cost. So the next order is, yeah, three lots. So... Just gonna end the day doing this. I'm not gonna add these to my total today. This, uh, so I'm gonna. This is how it works. Uh, the program that Ralph from Ralph's Brooks is on, you can just skip this, and I'll rerun it tomorrow and just put the weight in, and it'll be ready to do the shipping tomorrow. So I'm just gonna get these last three parts and call it a day on this Tuesday. It's 3:43 p.m. Oh, they got some foil bags. Nine nine four 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 seven and four nine. Four, 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 seven. They want all these guys. Four, nine. Those guys are awesome. Turn off the lights for the day. This will be this order. And uh, my son made a file for me for tomorrow. So until the morning. We'll see what our numbers bring. I gotta get this on my desk to remember to start the, uh, the tally sheet. We have a goal: 700 per day, gross sales. Not it. So basically, after fees and taxes, I hope it's like 500 a day we bring in is what it has to be to hit our goal. So whew, wish me luck. It's gonna be right now. It's not looking like I'm gonna hit it tomorrow. We, I mean, we do have the train, which was almost 300. And then these orders were what, 40, like 80 bucks so far. So I don't think there's like one minifig on eBay too. So we're not, we're maybe halfway there to our goal, but we only have, what do we have? We'll have a 12, 13, 14, about 14 hours to go before I calculate it. All right, it is 5.22 on uh, Wednesday. I did have somebody ask a question whether this is a cracked minifigure part. I was like, I have never actually seen um, a slope like this cracked and then I looked at all the ones I have and every one of these slopes or 65 degree slope or whatever on one side they have this line unless it's just a molding mark so um, anyway so we're going to oops we lost connection oh I, my program isn't set up yet that going. Anyway, so we did uh, 450 on eBay, so that is uh, that is really good. I'm pretty sure we hit our goal uh, for um, for 700 per day, so we just needed 250 on Bricklink and Brickall. Which we're gonna see what it is here in a moment. Once everything loads, here we go. 16 orders, 14 brick link, only two on brick owl. 2,100 items, 425 lots, $591. Easily hit the goal. I mean, we were just, uh, just over $100 just alone on brick link and brick owl hitting it. So. 
eBay only just needed a hundred, but we had sold that train, so that really, really catapulted us to have a good surplus for t for the first day. Um, so we're at nine, one thousand forty. So we're up three forty for the first day. See, this is how we track it. I had a, I have a different weekday schedule, so Sunday, Monday ended up being here. This is how the this is how it fell. How the days fell. And when I started it, so I didn't want to have like Sunday, Monday here, but it started on the end here. But so that's a great, great uh, morning. So got some work to do. Pulling order three. I already pulled the first two yesterday, but I've had a string of uh, string of international orders this past well yesterday. I sent one to the UK. The, the day before it was uh, I want to say it was Australia, and then this one is going to New Zealand. I'm guessing this is what brought him there. This is this only comes in the Raincourt pit set. I found a sealed bag of this in there. So we got that. With some weapons. Two of those. And some of this. So awesome order. I don't talk too much about subscriber count, but it's cool to hit milestones. There are 100 away to 7,000. Slow and steady. It's been uh, coming on 20. This November 2018, I started the channel. So coming on six full years of being out here. So getting there. Last order is 39 out of you. It's just one lot. Look all. So gonna count those out. I'm gonna go for a two mile run. 7.48, I gotta cook breakfast. Oh, 10 after 8, I gotta start it, so I gotta get moving. So, Alright, breakfast is done. Got two miles in. And uh, we have this. I did put away 89 lots last night. Uh, this was worth 50 bucks, so now we got 219 left. $198. 1115 items. So, this should be the first one on the list. There it is. 2712. Alright, so we'll round this up to 200 as our upload for our uh, tracker how much the orphan bags made, made us an upload. So we're at 17. 80 out of 12 uploads so yeah that's good and it's uh 10 44 so i have hour 15 minutes before i have help we're gonna part out some sets we got but i only have like two quantities of two of some of them <laughs> but that's all right i figured it's better than just uh, um, sorting used all right this is what we're gonna part out two of those three of those I took one to, or a couple to conventions all year, didn't sell any of them. I might as well just part them out. I have five more, but you can do three. Two of those we just got, two of those we just got. 430 items, or lots, 2300 parts, worth around 400 bucks. So, <clears throat> got those, two for 25. <clears throat> got those for five bucks each. These I got for like the $22 sale they had years ago. And I got these for 20 bucks. So 20, 40. Um, plus 25. 65, 75. Plus 60. So about $140 worth of product there that I paid my cost. So probably was pretty good in the end. Plus, I don't need to do any of the parting out. There's, there's not much to do. So I'm going to have. Uh, two helpers do that, so I'm doing CMF Series 14, the Monsters one. So, first step is to kind of get some that I'm gonna keep, complete ones, you know, that I could 
Looks like they just sell on eBay if F1 sells. There's a complete one there. I think it's just, I think that's about it. I don't really need that one. Um, maybe that one? I don't know if I even have that one for sale. I should. A couple of, maybe one or two of these, but. Yeah, I don't, I don't have his wings. Actually, I think. No, they're different than the, the Beetle one. So anyway, so I'm just gonna do this real quick. And then they should be here in like 20 minutes starting to work on that. And then I'll do something else. I don't know what yet, but I'll figure it out. All right, so we got left. And we uploaded 129, 152, lost 156 items. So that's sorted out. All right, all of a sudden it's almost 2.30. We just finished putting all the parts away. 429 lots, 2300 items. It's 405 was the total. I didn't part out any minifigs or anything. There wasn't very many to do that, so just left it as is. And this, this is over 100 new lots to the store, so there's a lot of lots that are, you know, not new to the store that are already there. So, but hopefully these new ones will drive sales. So today, we've now added 262 new lots to the store on this Wednesday, so that's pretty good. We have 23,217 lots, 975,000, almost 976,000 pieces. Um, and yeah, we are eight orders away from 17,000. We have 1,900 fans now. That is cool. So yeah, so now, what am I doing now? When they get back, we're gonna sort some more stuff. And so I guess, basically I'm having my son 